Good morning, my lovely grade 4 students. I hope that you are all fine. Today we are going to make a revision for the three lessons in theme 1 in order to be prepared for the small quiz that we are going to do next week. Our first lesson was about wild and cultivated plants. We are going to study together. I evaluate myself in the first lesson. Okay? These sentences are given here. We are going to state if they are true or false and correct the false ones. Tomato plants live free in nature. Of course, it's false since tomato plants are not wild plants. Instead, they are cultivated plants and need our care. We can say instead of tomato, oak. Okay? While the plants need our care, it's also false because while the plants don't need our care, we can correct it like this, or we can say that cultivated plants need our care. Cedar tree is a cultivated plant. It's also false since cedar tree is not a cultivated plant, it's a wild plant. And wild plants are found only in high regions, of course falls, since as we said in the explanation of the lesson that wild plants can be found at different levels of different altitudes like coast, mountains, and hills. Now, in question two, you have to read these text, texts carefully and then answer the questions that we have on the next page pick up from the text the definition of cultivation. We can say that cultivation is the act of caring or raising plants. Okay? هي عملية الاهتمام بالplants. زرع plants والاهتمام فيهم. Specify if wild plants need human care or not. We can say no since wild plants grow naturally without any human care. How wild plants are watered by the rain because they don't need our care and we can indicate that regular watering is the mode of cultivated plants. In this way we can say that we have studied the first lesson. Now let's go to the second lesson which is classification of plants. As we said, we can classify plants according to the presence of stem, roots, and leaves into vascular and non-vascular plants. Vascular plants are the plants that have roots, stem, and leaves. They can be classified into seedless plants like ferns and seed plants like flowering plants and conifers. Non-vascular plants are the plants that grow close to the ground and they don't have stem roots and leaves like moss and algae. And now on this page we are going to indicate if these statements are true or false. Conifers are non-vascular plants. It's false. Conifers are vascular plants. Spores are found under the leaves of all plants. It's false because they are found under the leaves of ferns and they are for reproduction, the spores for reproduction. Ferns have flowers, of course falls have no flowers. Oak and apple trees are flowering plants, it's true. And now let's practice more by reading this text and then answering the questions. In Lebanon, there are many wild plants that grow without the help of man, such as cedar, pine, and oak trees. Cedar is a tree that grows in high mountains, whereas pine tree is a tree that grows in medium altitude. Both cedar and pine trees are called conifers because they hold cone fruits. conifers fruits. In addition, the oak tree grows in the mountains. It is, the one, it is one of the tallest trees found in Lebanon. The first question is, pick out the name of trees that grow in Lebanon. We are going to write here cedar, pine, and oak. Indicate the place where each tree grows, cedar tree. It's written here, 
grows in high mountains. Pine tree, look at pine tree, it grows in medium altitude. And oak tree that grows in the mountains. Okay? Do they grow in the same habitat? We have to say no. Why do we name that? Why do we name cedar and pine trees conifers? It's written here. We can name them conifers because they hold corn fruits. Our last lesson was about the parts of the flower, and the second part was about the plant cycle. Let's remember together the parts pedicel, which is the stem, sepal, petal, stamen that contains the pollen grain pistil, it contains ovary and ovules, okay? Petals are the colored parts, sepals the green leaves, stem which carry the other parts, ovary contains the ovules, pistil is the female reproductive organ and stamen is the male reproductive organ. And now from flowers into fruits. When the flower opens, Petals wither and drop off. The ovary here will grows will grow bigger and bigger till it becomes a fruit, and the ovules which are inside the ovary will change into seeds. Okay, so the ovary would change into a fruit. This is the fruit. This is a mature fruit developed from the ovary. Inside it, we can see seeds which which will grow again into a new plant this is the plant cycle please study this page also thank you